Okay, so I just got back home from my press trip to Alola in Saudi. I pretty much vlogged the entire thing, but one thing that I always struggle with is making something out of it. All the amazing trips that I go to and all the experiences that I I'm lucky enough to have just lives in my hard drive for the rest of my life. But this time, I'm quite adamant on editing this. I don't care if it looks good or bad, like I don't care. I hope you're patient with me with this video. I just feel so unfit to be wearing the giving movement. <laughs> I bored it one minute before the gate closed. I can't. So I'm gonna now look for someone that's gonna receive me. Long story short, I spent the past couple of hours just finishing up some work that I had to do and now I'm really hungry so I'm probably gonna go have dinner. Oh my god, this tastes so freaking good but I choked a little bit. very peaceful breakfast until I realized that I have a huge deadline which I am almost missing so I'm basically fucked. I honestly don't know why I like traveling so much and why I like to be alone so much. Ooh. Okay, I do not know what to wear. This is my outfit. I'm literally repeating. This looks pretty cool but um, it's gonna be a struggle in the airport so no need of this fashion. Feeling myself. Okay, I need to pee. Two one seven. Okay, thank you. I just checked in. No. So we're in the middle of the desert. I can see the stars and it's really cold. And uh, no, 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 it's, it's too pretty. And it's so quiet. <sighs> Fuck. Just take a look at this. No way. <laughs> this is the washroom. Oh my God, no way. Should I or should I not? Do you know how amazing this feels? Okay, so I'm gonna keep an alarm for like super early morning, maybe like five in the morning to watch the sunrise. <sighs> Good night. 7 in the morning, it's like 6.57 but I'm gonna step out and look at the view I'm so tired and I'm really sleepy. Kind of want to go back to the hotel and just rest for a bit. Okay, so I just got to my hotel. It's like 5.30. Today was good. I'm not a very artsy person, but the whole trip is obviously very art focused. So it's very new for me to like learn these things. And I was basically talking to uh, editors and journalists that work in the art scene. And I was trying to understand the business of art publications. Woo! <laughs> I love these pants. I love these pants so much. Probably this, because I carry this all the time, so maybe this one. Coming! Oh. 
Good night. Thank you. I'm so tired. Oh, I look so good. Good night, good night. I can't. I can't. I cannot function anymore. Oh, wow, it's pitch dark. Good morning. I overslept and I missed the 7 a.m. hike. Night, it's, it's too cold. I cannot. <laughs> Are you an actual clown? What is this clown behavior? Y'all guys are even putting their foot to lie. Seriously, I had the best sleep of my life. Hi, can you please send a buggy to my room? Okay, I just got home. That was literally such a beautiful dinner. So, 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 so beautiful. My friend is leaving tomorrow, so I'm just gonna call her up really quick. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm literally already crying, but... Uh, so one of my best friends is moving and I couldn't be there for that because I'm on a trip. I cannot believe that she's going. And they've been gonna have this like friendship. And then it kind of made me think about uh, all the other like friendships that you have, you know, which are so deep and you think, oh my God, this is gonna last forever. And then it just does not. So I didn't really wanna like talk about X or whatever. Like I didn't wanna bring it up in this video, but me and him were so close. Sorry, this is totally, totally random, this topic. But yeah, it's, but come on, it's day three of this trip this is what i do in the alone time <laughs> he was my best friend you know i cannot believe i'm like filming myself crying or whatever like he's just broken my trust so 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 much that any friendship that i have now i sort of compare and then i think oh me and him had such a great friendship and that's come to an end so even this friendship now even though it's amazing it can come to an end and that's the most fucked up part like you meet people and and they fuck things up for you and your future so now even when i'm upset about my like really close friend leaving i think about the friendship that my ex and i had and how that just went and i never i never saw that ending like i never life just moves so quickly that it's hard to like say something with so much conviction so i obviously can't cry forever which means i need to remove my makeup and get ready for bed New York is my end goal. Sorry, I keep coming back to this. I, I swear I'm sorry. It's just like just when something bad happens, you don't just move on from it quickly and on to the next thing. So sometimes I feel really guilty for constantly talking about the same fucking ex of mine. But like one person can really change the way you think and feel about yourself and about friendships and about relationships. So this guy has really impacted my outlook he's really changed the way i look at friendships it's been an emotional night good night Are you coming yeah today's our helicopter ride and um I basically cried myself to sleep a little bit, so I'm really tired from that. Let's go and let's get started because today we have a helicopter ride and I think a trip to this area called Hegra. Hegra, is it cold? Jacket. Thank you. Around you will notice there's a little red tab. Cheryl is down in the south, working at the Waffle House, has a second job in midnight. <sighs> I'm so hungry because I missed breakfast. Like this trip was incredible. But now I need to pack. Seems to pay the rent. You gotta have a trick or two that's hidden up your street. This burger. But living ain't a magic act. Days are long and that's a fact. Money still ain't quite enough for her and all the kids. Times change, 
she always says The good old days are gone dead But she tucks the kids into their bed Like mama always did But it's hard when you ain't got nobody I need to book an Uber because obviously no one's gonna come to pick me up if I'm going home. Hold hands and dance slow, feels just like romance. It's hard when you ain't got nobody. It's hard when. Good night, people. Thanks for joining me on my trip. No, I don't know how to sign off. Just, just bye. Fuck that man.